Assalamu alaikum my dear students hope you are all fit and fine by the grace of almighty allah and taking proper care of your health it's me your asra ma'am and welcome back to our sst class as you know that we are discussing our mineral resources yes my dear student lesson number 14 our mineral resources in our present previous session we discussed about one of the type of minerals metallic minerals their properties distribution and their importance yes in today's class we will discuss about non metallic minerals their properties distribution and their importance but moving ahead let us recapitulate the previous topics okay yes my dear students as the chapter name is our mineral resources so we must know first what is a mineral a mineral is a naturally found naturally found which means it is not man made it is not man made second thing it is an inorganic solid inorganic solid inorganic hair means which are not made up of living things yes repeat along with me first one it is a naturally formed second it is inorganic solid and it has a crystalline structure crystalline hair means a glass ware type of structure yes now if the question comes define the term mineral you will write a mineral is a naturally formed and inorganic substance that has a crystalline structure yes my dear students we have lot of examples of minerals like coal petroleum gypsum limestone diamond gold sand iron copper these are few of the examples of minerals now the second question is how they are found where do we found these minerals yes my dear students as we have discussed about the formation of rocks i told you the earth's crust is made up of rocks yes the earth's crust is made up of rocks and that are composed of minerals that are composed of minerals that is why the minerals are called building blocks of rocks what the building blocks of rocks my dear students after that we discussed mineral ex- extraction what does that mean mineral ret- extraction yes yes try to recapitulate i told you that the extraction of minerals is done through a series of processes yes my dear students it's not one day's game to get these minerals no it takes a lot of labor lot of hard work and lot of time and lot of a series of processes so the extraction of minerals is done through a series of processes which are jointly termed as mining so mining can be defined as all the processes series of processes which are taken to extract the minerals yes that is called mining and these minerals are dug out from the mines mines they are dug out from the mines what are mines mineral rich areas mineral rich areas yes my dear students minerals can't be found everywhere no they are dug out from mines and the process is called mining the place is called mines mineral rich areas near the where where yes near the crust near the crust of the earth near the crust of the earth or the interior of the earth or in the interior of the earth after that we discuss two types metallic minerals 
non metallic minerals so simple my dear students metallic minerals let us recapitulate what i said in my previous video what are metallic minerals as the term itself indicates metallic minerals are those minerals are those minerals out of which the minerals are sorry metals are extracted yes out of which the metals are extracted yes my dear students metallic minerals are those those minerals from which metals are extracted yes these are present in the earth's crust same these are present in the earth's crust but in the form of ores in the form of ores so yes please recapitulate mm, what is an ore an ore uh, an ore is a mineral it is also a mineral that contains a metal that contains a metal in such quantities that it can be extracted profitably that mm, an ore is a mineral that contains a metal that contains a metal in such quantities that it can be extracted profitably my dear students let us discuss now non metallic minerals so simple my dear students non metallic minerals are the minerals which do not can contain metals like in previous video i told you metallic minerals are the minerals which contain metals it is opposite non metallic minerals are the minerals which do not contain metals yes remember non non minerals which do not contain metals in other words we can say that minerals which on melting do not form metals yes which on melting do not form metals are called as non metallic minerals let us distinguish these two definitions metallic minerals are the minerals which contain metals yes while as non metallic minerals are the minerals which do not contain metals yes as far as it is properties is concerned like we discussed about the metals first metals possess shine metals possess shine they have a luster property but here non metallic minerals non metallic minerals do not possess shine they are dull they don't possess shine they are dull yes second they are soft in nature no what i said about metallic minerals metallic minerals are hard here non metallic minerals are soft in nature that is totally opposite of the metallic minerals only one exception is there diamond diamond is a non metal and the mo most hardest substance on earth yes third which we discuss it that metallic minerals are solid here the non metallic minerals can be solid liquid or even gas yes then we discussed about the metallic minerals yes yes try to recapitulate that they they are malleable that means they can be broken into sheets but non metallic minerals are not malleable they can't be broken into sheets and they are not ductile that means they can they are they can't be drawn into wires they can't be drawn into wires these were the physical properties of non metals like they don't possess shine they are soft in nature only one exception is there that is diamond they can be solid yes repeat along with me they can be liquid or even in gaseous form they are not malleable and ductile neither they can be broken into sheets nor they can be drawn into wires let us remember the examples of non metallic minerals limestone mica gypsum asbestos diamond 
precious stones. Coal, petroleum. You know, my dear students, non-metallic minerals like coal and petroleum are extracted because they are also non-metal. They are extracted and use it as fuel and use it as fuel. You know, anything that emits energy or heat when burnt is called a fuel is called a fuel as we have the example hmm, of coal on burning it emits hmm, it emits energy as well as heat so it is a fuel a fuel may be solid like we have coal liquid like we have hmm, mineral oil third gas like we have natural gas see i will repeat it non-metallic minerals we have so many examples but coal and petroleum are extracted and use it as a fuel so three types of fuel we have solid fuel liquid fuel gaseous fuel in solid fuel we have example of coal in liquid fuel we have example of petroleum and in gases fuel we have example of natural gas these are used to generate electricity yes my dear students coal the coal is used to get to generate electricity we don't have to discuss the process but just remember this that coal is used to generate electricity which is then further used to light our homes, offices, schools, etc. Now, the second one, petrol or diesel. Yes, where it is used? It is used in generators, cars, automobiles, trucks. Coal is used to generate electricity as well as coal is where used hmm, in fire pots. Yes, in our Kangri during winters. Second, petrol and diesel. Where it is used? In generator, hmm, car, automobile and truck. You know, coal, natural gas, minerals like petroleum are called fossil fuels. They are called fossil fuels. Yes, if somebody will ask you what are fossil fuels? Coal, natural gas, mineral oils like petroleum, these are all called as fossil fuels. And where we get these fossil fuels? Yes, fossil fuels are formed from the remains of plants and animals. From the remains of plants and animals. Breathed in the air millions of years ago. Yes, it's not one day job it takes millions of years it takes millions of years so yes repeat along with me fossil fuels are formed from the from the hmm, from the remains of plants and animals buried in the earth millions of years ago now let us discuss the distribution and importance of non-metallic minerals in India. We have to just remember this. First example, as per your book, limestone. Yes, my dear student, states were mined. So, repeat along with me. Madhya Pradesh, Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, Telangana, Odisha. Limestone is found in hmm? Madhya Pradesh, Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, Telangana, Odisha. Simple and its uses to make cement. To make cement. Then second, coal. Jharkhand, West Bengal, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Tamil Nadu. And use it as a fuel. Simple. Use it as a fuel. Then third one, petroleum and natural gas. Where found? Assam, Gujarat. Maharashtra off the coast of Mumbai and use it as a fuel. 
C. This is my dear students the picture of coal, a non-metallic mineral, a non-metallic mineral. Use it as a fuel. Use it as a fuel. Fuel, as I said, which gives us energy hmm, and emits heat. Coal is largely used to generate electricity. Remember this. Coal is largely used to generate electricity. And the states where coal is mined, yes. Urnachal Pradesh, West Bengal, Assam, Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, Odisha, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Mudhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh. You have to remember these. Yes, my dear students, just remember all the states where this coal is mined. The second one is petroleum. Petroleum is regarded as a transportation fuel. What? as a transportation fuel. First, you have to remember it. If somebody will ask you, which is regarded as a transportation fuel, your answer should be petroleum. Petroleum is regarded as a transportation fuel. It's also called as mineral oil. Petroleum is also called as white mineral oil. White mineral oil. Petroleum. White mineral oil. Where it is found? It is found deep inside the earth. Where? It is found deep inside the earth. Uh, we are talking about mineral. Sorry, petroleum. Petroleum is a non-metallic mineral. Petroleum is a non-metallic non mineral. Where found? Deep inside the earth. Deep inside the earth. You know, wells are drilled deep to reach the oil. Wells are drilled, drilled, drilled deep to reach the oil. Uh, yeah. Area with mini oil wells. With mini oil wells is called an oil field. For example, this is an area and so many oil wells are present there. Oil wells are the places huh, from which this petroleum is extracted from which this petroleum is extracted and area with many oil wells more than two oil wells is called an oil field is called an oil field oil well is a place yes from which the this non-metallic mineral petroleum is extracted and an area where more than two oil wells are present is called an oil field is called an oil field and this mineral oil which is extracted deep inside the sea is first purified then refined in where were refined in oil refineries what to make petrol diesel kerosene and lpg yes my dear students this mineral oil is extracted from oil wells if in an area two more than two oil wells are found that is called an oil field that is called an oil field yes and that mineral oil which is extracted deep inside the sea is first purified is first purified then refined in oil refineries to make yes to make petrol diesel kerosene and LPG. In India, the major oil field, oil field means where more than two oil wells are present, is situated, is situated in the Arabian Sea, is situated in the Arabian Sea in Mumbai, where in Mumbai, called as Mumbai High, called as Mumbai High. So, if somebody will ask you, what is Mumbai High? Your answer should be, in India, the major oil field is situated in the Arabian Sea in Mumbai and that is called as Mumbai High. Petroleum oil field is found in Assam, Gujarat, Maharashtra. Assam, Gujarat, Maharashtra, Rajasthan, 
आंध्र प्रदेश अरुणाचल प्रदेश ओके रिपीट अलोंग विद मी राजस्थान गुजरात महाराष्ट्र आंध्र प्रदेश अरुणाचल प्रदेश असम नेचुरल गैस इज आल्सो फाउंड अलोंग विद दिस मिनरल ऑयल वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस मिनरल ऑयल हां व्हिच वी एक्सट्रैक्ट फ्रॉम ऑयल फील्ड्स और ऑयल वेल्स बट नेचुरल गैस इज आल्सो फाउंड अलोंग विद दिस मिनरल ऑयल इट इज यूज्ड एज अ फ्यूल दिस नेचुरल गैस इट इज आल्सो यूज्ड एज अ फ्यूल इन द फॉर्म ऑफ सीएनजी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ cng yes my dear students this natural gas is also found along with this mineral oil which we get from oil fields and it is used as a fuel in the form of cng what is the full form of cng compressed natural gas what is the full form of cng compressed natural gas in nowadays cng this compressed natural gas is also used as a fuel in vehicles is also used as a fuel in vehicles then the other example of non metallic minerals is limestone is limestone limestone as i said is used to make cement which is then used to make buildings and houses yes it is important it is also used as a raw material in glass industry its first use is to make cement second it is also used in glass industry and the states where it is found hmm madhya pradesh repeat along with me madhya pradesh jharkhand chatisgarh telangana odisha where limestone is found in madhya pradesh jharkhand chatisgarh telangana odisha yes my dear students let us wind up this chapter with last topic which is hmm, conservation of minerals yes these minerals should be conserved we should conserve these minerals why so because they are natural but they are renewable sorry they are non renewable resource they are non renewable resource which means that they have a limited supply they have a limited supply minerals will get depleted as we keep using them if we keep using them they will get depleted so minerals ought to be used only where necessary as they have a limited supply they will get depleted so we should use only where necessary it's very important to have alternative sources of energy which are renewable instead of using these non renewable mineral resources again and again again and again we should replace them with renewable sources of energy like we have solar power we have water and tidal power we have wind power yes my dear students renewable sources of energy will never run out so we should replace the non renewable resources of energy with such kind of renewable sources of energy hope you have understood the topic this chapter very well it's my request go through all the videos and try to learn understand each and every topic very well yes and take care of yourself we will meet inshallah soon in with the next video till then take care of yourself god bless you all stay blessed fi amanullah